this continuation of the basic instructions and how to use the automation designer tool that I built. So this section is going to focus on uh, Wilmot configurations and configurations with SolidWorks. So I figured I'd get started by kind of showing you what I plan, what I want to go over is. So this is a simple model I built in SolidWorks to kind of show the concept of adjusting configurations and Wilmot configurations. So I built a simple layout. So this is just a quick idea for you to use um, to maybe make a template model to kind of experiment and see how you want to automate a system. Uh, I'll also include a link to the parts for this model and the assemblies and the uh, and this Excel file. I'll upload those to GitHub and I'll put a link in the video description to where you can download them. So let's go and get started. So this is just an example of how to make a basic uh, setup to have your master parameters that drive everything. And here's your actual commands we're sending to SolidWorks. So let's go through these step by step. So we have top level name. So it just indicates that this sheet should check for check in SolidWorks to see if this assembly is open. And just the comment line just this is, just allows us to organize our uh, instructions a bit better. So this just let us know we're working on the inlet assembly. And this is first one we're going to set component configuration. So what we're going to do is we're going to go into the inlet assembly parent. So it would be this guy here. And we're going to find inlet flange one. So that'd be this guy here. So and then we're going to be setting it to match this uh, name this RFWN size four class 150. So that came from we set our flange size here. And all that's doing is just looking through this list of tables. So the name that we set through the tool needs to match the configuration name in SolidWorks. So you do need to, so if you have some kind of drop down that's powered, it needs to match the configuration name identically in SolidWorks. So in this case, so these are all our configurations that this part could be. In this case, I'm just using design tables. Um, I won't go into how the design table works. If there ends up being interest in how design tables work, let me know, and I can make a separate video on those because they can get pretty involved in their cells. So then the next, so once we set those, we'll we're gonna move on and set some dimensions. So and this time we're going to the inlet. So. So the parent is uh, this part here, and we're going to be setting uh, some of the basic parameters, so D2, thickness, D3, D1. So what we're more interested in is the Wellmet configurations. So again, let's go and open up this part real quick. So in this case, we're working against the inlet. So a uh, really a Wellmet is a multi-body part. So SolidWorks will go and take the individual features that we add to this and create them as separate parts in our bill of material. But f to make it easier for us to deal with, it just puts them as a big single part that moves and stretches all its components around as we do our work. So um, I won't go too much into how well configuring configured to work. Um, if there's interest in it, I'll make a separate video on those because, again, you can get pretty complicated on how to set up well configurations. But, but the idea is, is that we'll have a set various types of Wellmet configuration set up. And then these are all the configurations in that folder that belongs to. And you can create these usually design tables too, I think. I'd have to double check. It's been a little bit since I messed with these. Uh, setting a new one up. But so and then we can just change the size. So again, when we set the size, it needs to match this name exactly. So, again, we'll need to look at our configuration table that we built. So this has a list of all those various drop-downs. So the, it's, I think it's a good idea, if you're being manipulating configurations a lot, to go and make a big list of the ones that match up. Um, and if you can, have a common place to store, maybe have a common sheet, or perhaps a database. But a common sheet will work just fine for just simplicity. 
just storing them in this sheet won't hurt you any, and if it doesn't line up, we'll better set it. And then we're going to be moving down to, we're going to be setting it some dimensions. And then we have our main body now. Okay, so let's go and run this through real quick. We'll do a quick build of it, and then we'll go through each step, and we'll show a demo of how to, how to look at the well met configurations and the configuration. Okay, so what I'd like to do now that we've kind of seen the basics of how that works is let's kind of focus on component configuration real quick. So we're we'll going to change this to a different size real quick just to kind of show this relationship and how it works. Okay, now we can go here and look at this part now and see how see how much it's changed by. So now we can see that it's changed to what we told it to change to. And again, you can simply just change it back in here. So that's pretty much all there is to setting configuration. This works with no matter how you set up the configuration through a configuration table, through a design table, or just setting up configuration and switching it through it. Just important thing to remember is that the names just need to line up. Um, so let's go into Wellmet configurations. Go give me a little bit more space. <coughs> okay, so in this case, the same scenario is that we're wanting to let's go and make us a size that'll line up to our pipe. I don't know if we have I also will just choose one that just lines up better. So we'll just say let's go to size eight. So let's go and build this real quick. And same rules is that the configuration just needs to match the names exactly. And that ends up being that easy to use. There's really not a whole lot to go through. The, probably I would say the biggest hassle of configurations is that this name needs to match exactly what it is in SolidWorks. So as long as you kind of take that into mind, you should be pretty fine to update those. Um, let me know if there's any more questions about it, and then I'd be happy to go over it. Uh, thanks for watching.